right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweight say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to a bottom to the guts? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm, and will start to chase the mission. Well, we saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, oh! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just 
over three minutes to go now. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, misses with the jab. Massive open yes, Oh, collar tie. Nurmagomedov gets stung by that leg kick. Big front man over the top. Lots of good follows. That takedown attempt without issue. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, and there's the double. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent ready. A sigh of relief with the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Gotta be careful, on bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. They're confident over there. They think Folded. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Second round here. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch the clinch. Battling for hooks. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Oh! Big diamond punch to the head! All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nermago Meta. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a... Oh! Stuffs the takedown without issue. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice strike. How about that shin? And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. And there comes the separation now. 
Can't take many of those. You better check. Connects now with the one-two. Oh! Huge right hand! Ooh, diving punch lands. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done, finder Mago Metal. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Leg kick checked nicely by Nermago Medoff. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Left hand punch to the clinch. Takedown defense holds up. Shock in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Effective punch there by Nermago Oh! He's out! Oh! Woo! What a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, and he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. We said it inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by...